Did you know that certain virtual lights in Unreal Engine can actually tank your performance? That's why today on Virtual Production Insider, we are looking at ways to optimize your lighting. Welcome to Virtual Production Insider. I'm your host, David Stapp. And over the years, as I've been creating Unreal Engine environments, I've noticed that there are different things when it comes to lighting that can actually affect your performance differently. So today we're actually gonna hop into Unreal Engine and look at how the different virtual lights can affect your performance in different ways. And then at the end of the episode, I've got some bonus tips for just best practices when it comes to lighting your scenes. So we've got this blank level here. This is a simple level that just has a landscape in it if we switch to unlit mode here. And there's nothing else in it, so we can really kind of judge how our performance is being affected by bringing in different lights. And I've got about three different sub-levels over here. I've got a level with 100 point lights, 100 rect lights, and 100 spotlights. And those are the most common lighting options you have if you go under add, lights, and you've got your different lighting options here. Skylight and directional light are obviously being used for lighting your scene when it comes to like outdoor lighting like sunlight and sky and things like that. So if we switch back to lit mode, we're gonna turn on our first level here and this is 100 point lights. These are set to their default value. I have not changed these at all and I just set them out in a grid. Now if I switch to the next level, we've got 100 rect lights and then we've also got 100 spotlights. And just a note, all of the lights that we're gonna be using in all these sub levels, they are set to movable so that we are using lumen for this. So if we turn on our frame rate, we can see that we are hitting the cap of the editor frame rate, which is 120 frames, because there's literally nothing being rendered, there's no lighting or anything like that. So let's turn on our first level and see how it affects this number. So if we bring in our 100 point lights, you can see that actually cuts the frame rate literally in half just by having 100 lights in the scene and how they're rendering using Lumen. And you can see it's dancing anywhere between 56 and 60 frames per second with 100 point lights. Uh, so now let's switch to 100 rect lights and see how that does. So as we turn on the 100 rect lights here, you can see we're hitting the lower 50s, uh, hitting around 52, 53 frames per second. Uh, and now let's switch over to the 100 spotlights. And there you go, you can see we're dancing around 67 to 70 frames per second there. And this is why the spotlight is the recommended light to use in Unreal Engine if you are creating scenes that need to be optimized when it comes to virtual production and ICV effects. And I get it that it's not always optimal to have to use a spotlight for every kind of lighting scenario. There are times where you just need a point light for that 360 degree hit or a rect light that gives it more of a rectangular or square shape. But my recommendation would be to try to use the spotlight whenever possible and really limit the amount of point lights and rect lights that you use in your scene. So you still have the option to bake your lighting using the GPU light mask plugin in Unreal Engine. And that's something I would recommend looking into, especially if you're doing an interior scene that doesn't have a very complex lighting setup. And if you know that you're not gonna need to have dynamic lights in the scene. So now let's look at some alternatives to lighting your Unreal Engine scenes. I've got this bistro scene which was a pack that was free on the marketplace one month. And it's just a simple cafe setup. And you can see uh, one of the ways that they are providing light into the scene is using an HDRI backdrop. This is a 360 degree photo that captures lighting from an environment and then it can be used to actually cast light into your scene. This can be super helpful if you're using like an outdoor HDRI that has a sun in it. That will actually tell Unreal, hey, there is a sun source coming from that direction. And then you just rotate the HDRI to get the sun in the right place. And HDRIs are very performative. They really can help you get a really great starting point and not cost you really anything on performance. So the next alternative way to light your scene is to use emissive textures. So let's take this light right here and let's apply an emissive texture to it. So now you can see it is casting light, it is casting shadows, and it's all coming from this static mesh. Now there is one thing I wanna warn you about when using emissives. You don't want to use too much emissive light because that can result in your scene not having enough indirect light and then you can get dancing in your shadows, especially when you're using Lumen. So here's a demo level to show you what I mean. So I've got these four spheres brought into this room and they are the only light source. They've got an emissive texture applied to them. And you can see back in this corner what's happening. There are these dancing shadows. And this is one of the biggest things I run into when I'm using emissive textures. 
And so you can see as I fly away from the scene, you can see the lighting actually gets worse because that's one of the downsides to using emissive textures is you don't have all of these settings that you would get with a light in Unreal Engine, something like the attenuation radius, which actually tells it, hey, this is how far the light should reach and should render. And so if you do plan on using emissive lights, be sure that you're bringing in other lights to raise the indirect lighting. You can also raise the indirect lighting intensity of other lights like the spotlights you bring in or or even something like your directional light, which is your sunlight. And so here's one final tip I've got for you when you're lighting an Unreal Engine. So if you've ever been designing a level and you've noticed some light leaking through your scene, even though you know all of your planes are connected and your geometry doesn't have any gaps in it. And this is honestly one of the quirks I've run into while using Lumen. So the way to fix this is to use light blockers. Light blockers are very simple. What I like to do is just use a cube, scale it up, and then start blocking the areas outside of your scene. And when you're done, you should have something like this. It's very simple cubes that are scaled up and they are literally just blocking light from coming in. So we go into our scene here. I'm gonna to toggle those light blockers off. And now you can see there's actually light coming in on the reflections of these tables. And if I turn the light blockers back on, it fixes that issue. And the same thing from this angle, you can see the brick texture actually has some light leaking through under it. And then if I just turn those light blockers back on, we have now fixed that issue and it's fixing the reflections on the table. There's no more light leaking into your scene. And this is something you'll need to be looking out for, especially when you get on set, you point your camera at your LED wall and get your scene loaded up. You wanna make sure that you're not seeing any kind of weird inconsistencies in your lighting throughout your scene. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for checking out the episode. Hope you learned some great tips for lighting and Unreal Engine, especially when it comes to virtual production and getting your scenes optimized. And if you like this content and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And we also have a Discord server that you can join. This is a place where you can surround yourself with other people in the virtual production community. And we've got a link to join that server in the description below. Again, I'm David Staff with Virtual Production Insider. And now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go simulate 10,000 point lights in Unreal Engine.